Hello everyone, it's Cubing Maniac here and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Rubik's Cube solve itself. Let's get started. So to make a Rubik's Cube solve itself, what you'll need to do is use something called stop motion. So stop motion is where you take a bunch of pictures and then compile them together with each picture showing for a split second. So um, there's first I'll go over some basics. So a FPS means frames per second. A frame means one picture. So if I take 20 pictures and I set the setting to 20 FPS, then it would be 20 pictures per second. So show those 20 pictures in one second. So that's pretty simple. And now to make a stop motion of a Rubik's Cube solving itself, you'll first need an app. The, the app I recommend, which is free and really easy to use, it may not have too many features, but it works if you want to just begin, is Stop Motion Studio. I believe it's available on App Store. I'm really not sure if uh, on, on Apple. I'm not sure if it's available on Android or anything or Windows, but it probably is, so go check that out. In there, basically, you just take pictures. There's a camera button. So... Um, before the camera button, there's actually something called new project. So you click on new project and then there's a camera button to the top right, I, be I believe. So you just click on that and then start taking your pictures. So to take the pictures, I usually recommend taking around 5-10 pictures of the cube itself. And to make it move, it depends on how high quality or how smooth you want the pictures to be. So if you want, if if you're okay with a little less work, and if you're okay, if you don't have that much time, and you want, you want, you still want to make stop motion, then I recommend a few turns around five pictures per turn, like so. You do, you do this, and then you take a picture. Then you do that. You take a picture. Do that. Take a picture. Do that. Take a picture. Do that and take a picture. But that sometimes looks a bit scratchy. Doesn't look as well. So if you really want to make your stop motion look good, take very little ones at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Um, like a really good FPS that makes your solve or whatever you're trying to do not rushed is around 15 FPS. It looks really smooth. I usually use 15 FPS when I make my stop motions. Um... So that's that. So you take all your pictures. You can do whatever you want. You can do that. You can do anywhere. You can use a seven by seven if you want. You can you can do anything. You can you can use any cube or this strategy works for anything. So if you want to make this car move right here, you just uh, take one picture, move it a little bit, take one picture, just like that. So Stop Motion Studio is a really nice app. Um, not sponsored by the way. Just saying. And then after you take in all your pictures. Uh, you go back and then on the bottom you see all, all your pictures come up Then if you, you, there's a play button, so you just click that play button to preview the preset settings is always 5 FPS Which is way too low for me. So um, I will go to the settings bar I believe I think it's the settings bar and then you click on that and then it says FPS and you can just drag um, it And it goes up to 30 FPS at max um, so yeah um, that's it's really simple to make. It looks really cool. I really recommend you guys do it. Um, it just looks really really cool. I made around six, I think. I'm not sure. I've done a Mega Mix one, a three x three one, a five x five one, a entire cube collection one, a cube one. I think I've done a, about a little more. And soon I'll be coming out with a seven by seven stop motion. Of the world record single by Kevin Hayes, I think it's uh, one minute fifty nine seconds, and I don't know uh, like the exact time, but I am I'll be reconstructing the entire solve in um, stop motion. But the only difficulty I'm finding right now is the scramble that I'm looking at, the scramble I'm using. Either I'm making some mistake or the scramble's wrong because. Um, the scramble I'm using is not matching up to the scramble Kevin Hayes got for some reason. So if you guys know the exact scramble and you know it's not a mistake, can you please leave that in the comments below? That would be really helpful. So now back to making up the stop motion. To polish a few things, um, if you ever want to make the cube turn like this, 
and it want, you want to show turning not just go one frame and then the second frame do that you actually want to do this in stop motion studio you, you're gonna to have to pay five bucks for it, the entire package I haven't done that but I would really recommend you guys do if you want if you really want to make your stop motion look good because in there you can erase so you take one picture like like that and then you can hold the cube up like this or use any clay or something like that and you can erase that clay off and it'll look like it just hanging in midair and then you can eventually do that turn it's a little more hard work but it looks really cool and also you'll get a bunch of other stuff i really recommend you guys check out stop motion studio um that's kind of all i have to say for this video it looks really cool when you make it so just a reminder, I'll do very small turns if you want to make it look really good. I'll leave a bunch of stop motions I've made in the link in the description below. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Bye.